asking. I think someone's hungry again. Okay. Yeah, well, I saw them from over the balcony too, so. <laughs> so he's running around. Let's see what this is down here. We were just having our time, like it was fabulous, fantastic and brilliant. The skies, the whole environment was so peaceful and calm. Especially like if you are going in the night time, you can see the moonlight and everything. It was beautiful. Mm, we have to go back at night, true? Yeah. Guys saw the same problem again when are we leaving. So seriously, we have all these new found uh, ruins in a place stacked and then like I wanted to go and see them and he wanted to leave and I said no like I want to go and see all these things and then by the way he have a good like artistic uh, view of these things as well you can see in the video so cringe <laughs> 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 I think it's probably cooler in here for you, isn't it? Oh, uh, well, uh, all of you, should I say? Mm. We've got all the candles in here. Oh, yeah. The whole place smells like wax. So there's something about this little parade. These people come and do their offerings, pay their respects to Buddha, dress up the stupa, is that right? Yeah. They do stuff, yeah, with smoke and people. And look, it's all festive and everyone's about love and peace and bloody mung beans. <laughs>
So then finally, it is time to have lunch. After temples in Arun, Anu, Anu in Anu, we, we are having rice and curry again. I'm not complaining too much. That's not what's happening here. Okay, it's just a matter of look. It's probably going to be three o'clock in the afternoon again prior to even, I guess, discussing the lunch factor. But we got some. Okay, now a bit of perspective of Anuradhapura and the lush, lush life. Situ looks like he's in some sort of archway here with the. Oh! <laughs> Uh, look at that, will you? Like, look at his skirt. Situ, where are we? We call it Western area. But I don't know what the historical... Uh, Again. Valley of it. Sorry, guys. Again. I did no research. We just go to these places and just show you the pictures, yeah? No. So we want to see a little bit more. We want to see a little bit more of Anuradhapura uh, and Wesagiriya. Wesagiriya is the the next uh, rock formation kind of. Uh, they've built you know temples and little homes in amongst the rocks. And I believe this place is a, a monk, um, previous monk residence. This place was used as a meditation spot for the monks. And then still you can see like all these caves and everything where they used to meditate. To be honest, this is the perfect environment to do a meditation. Just covered with lush greenery. Probably a better way of showing you guys about the area. And uh, all of the places you can see around. All of the old sacred places of Anuradhapura. Looking good. It doesn't really help when most of the signs are like this. And I did notice that at, <laughs> at the last temple. Uh, just not maintained. I think the signs were here at the same time as the uh, uh, monuments actually were here as well. It actually says do not take photos or videos for respect purposes. So, what I might do is just show you here. Quite lovely. Go up the stairs. Several of these sites. And here we go. Central Rock. 13 caves associated with this rock complex, which is 175 meters long and 45 meters wide. A number of inscriptions. According to one inscription, this temple complex was known in ancient times. Evidence of ancient paintings. Construction ruins are also found. Very, very interesting. Philip gets to a set of stairs and wonders how many more stairs there will be. Not only for breathing purposes, but uh, for height purposes. 
Because <laughs> I just cannot with heights. I'm sorry? All it's that they have used these ones. Amazing, and you get a bit of a view up here of the town and the area and a mountain or two. Oh shit. Hmm. Don't like that much. But if we look in the in the far distance. Look a bit of cowboy. I'm gonna need to get down here somehow. There he is. Some mountains. Beautiful. This place is one of my favorite places because it's covered with all these huge rocks. Everything is made out of rock. Whole pathway of this place was like built with these rocks. And then like uh, bricks thousands years ago and then they are still there you can see them the weave was amazing and you can hear like all these peacock sounds and huge peacocks so colorful and beautiful we stumbled across a few altercations in this destination the man following me now i don't know about anybody else okay we have altercations here and there. There's no chance I'm some sort of painful tourist. Yeah, we've talked about hunger, we've talked about time, we've talked about all sorts of bits and pieces on this trip. However, if you're following me, if you're literally making it obvious that you're following me, I'm gonna say something. I am going to say something to you. Rock carvings. These carvings. They have ancient writings behind these little fences. And uh, I'm done with being heckled. So, a review of this place? Yeah. Hmm. We may just write a review, guys. Hmm? Our reviews are popular. They're quite popular. Hmm. Hmm, I saw that. Very, very nice. Oh, and he's still following me. Okay, let's go. I'm going to let you know that what you're doing right now is not cool. So, I had this guy who was at the car park, then he was on the stairs, then he was behind me up the top on the rock and then we kept walking and then we went down the stairs as you'll see and he was still there and so I had to approach the guy didn't I? We just came into a cave after an altercation with that man that's following me and there are peacocks monks would reside here in peace. He tried to tell me that he's a meditator, didn't he, Situ? By pulling some beads out of his pocket. So after a quick question and answer, the guy's telling me, I'm here to meditate. I've got my beads. And he's pulled them out of his pocket and he's like, here, I'm just here to relax and this is what I do after work and blah, blah, blah. And oh, I think there was a punchline. If you do need anybody to show you round, I'm like, put the beads away, my friend. Just uh, if you'd appreciate, you know, my, uh, oh, I don't know what you call it, autism, OCD, or just general respect for my space. Can you back off? Altercation after altercation when you're white in this country. And a couple of peacocks. Whoa, there he goes. Down there. Some steps. Beautiful 
bird. Hello. What is this? Oh, what a giant. We found this interesting cave actually full of bats inside. And then this is the first time I'm seeing all these bats like inside a cave. It was so like interesting and then we saw this dog like sleeping somewhere like inside the cave and then first I thought like maybe this dog have rabies or something that's what they do when they have rabies but he was uh, he was literal he was literally some sort of a skeleton I think he had no food or like anything I felt bad can you see our friends here They are the bats. Yeah, the baby bats. Oh yeah, I can hear the noise. Maybe that's with puppy dog. Puppy dog looks very hungry. Okay, this place is Mr. Peacock. And then And then the toilet. So you keep your uh, things here, steps, and then you shake. There's a man coming. There's a man coming. Like oh, yes, yeah. you do. Goodness me. That's how you used to go to the toilet back in the day. So what happens here too? This guy, he's really friendly. We feed We feed dogs. Yes, you may. And um, what happened to the dog? So we went back to the car, then I got some uh, dog food and gave it to him. He was fi fine actually, he had no rabies. Yeah. Because he went to feed another dog? Uh, like I put some, he ate half. And then he, was, he went back to the place. And then I came back. So he moved? Yeah, he moved. Yeah, where the bats were, there was this dog yeah. under there, as you saw, guys, and he looked like like a skeleton. So we just went and yeah. rescued, maybe, I'm not sure, but really sad, maybe his last meal. Maybe not. Maybe he comes out. I think he will die inside there. But I don't know. Yeah. It's a sad story with the dogs here, guys. And as we are fans of, you know, people who do go around Sri Lanka feeding dogs uh, on YouTube. Again, we're doing it too. Because every little bit helps. Hey boys. Hey girl, should I say, and boy. Um, yeah, so dogs in Sri Lanka, again, feed them guys because they need our help, don't no. they? And this one was really, really skinny. This one was skinny. He was actually one... just like a skeleton. Bones. Yeah. Scary stuff. Ooh. Isn't that the same thing? Bones and skeleton? Yes. Yes. Just leaving Anuradhapura. I thought I'd show you the beautiful lake and this sky and this sun is just killing us. Finally, we are leaving for my favorite place, which is Sigiriya. So much drama. There will be drama. Um, there was a little altercation in uh, <laughs> another altercation, but yeah, we we got there um, in an afternoon. You will see in the next episode. Yeah, like I think this is the peak point of uh, we both getting frustrated. There was a peak the week before, and then we had. Yeah, a... but this is the peak, peak, peak point. Yeah, and then we went back to Colombo. Yeah. 
refreshed and went on to Anuradhapura. Oh, where are we now? We are like on our way to Siguria. We're on our way to Siguria. Yeah. But look at what we found on the way. Beautiful mountain-esque. Let's see if we can zoom. I can't see anything, guys, with sunglasses on and this glaring sun. But look, this is what you experience in Sri Lanka. It's beautiful. And there's the mobile. The mobile. Yes, I am driving. Because, yes, I can. In Sri Lanka. It's, uh, it's easy. It's very, very easy. Especially if you're a lawbreaker at home. You can quite easily drive in Sri Lanka. I keep getting confused because we had like one night in Polonaroa and that's coming up as well, as well later down the track in a couple of episodes time. But yeah, the fact that Sigaria was planned, planned, planned and this rock, yeah, was mm. I going to climb this rock or was yeah. I not going to climb this rock? I was going to climb this rock. At the end of the day... Yeah, like he was like, I will try, I will try. But guys, he has some kind of a phobia to these heights. So, Situ's just turned Saudi Arabian in the heat that is in between Anuradhapura and Sigiriya. And now I can say it. Anuradhapura. Anuradhapura. Yeah, that's it. Now I can say it. That's pretty. That's very pretty. House Husbands, uh, uh, Kendall Jenner modeling. Yeah. But let's, I guess, leave the story. Yeah. You to, guys will see. To unfold. How it turned out to be. It is the peak point. Siguria is here. Oh, don't stop when someone is asking you to park somewhere before you get to a monument. None of it's real and you just need to ignore it. Yeah. And we just read because that we have to pay like another parking fee uh, when you guys are just taking like thousands of money from a foreigner just to visit this place. And on top of that, I mean like it's not about the money but not at all it is about the ethics yeah so you also get scammed <laughs> so we've had our little beef haven't we but yeah yeah a lot to learn um, and we understand that Sri Lanka is sort of a, a monetary crisis. That's not a worry. And the amount of tips and the amount of extras that we've given and will continue to give, as per everybody that comes here, you know, not a worry. We're still not there. We'll focus on the positive, shall we?